Hello! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be telling you my GPA and my stats for how I got accepted to Chapman University. And if Chapman is your dream school, then keep on watching. So Chapman is a pretty, pretty comparable private college. And I think because of that, it makes it super competitive, especially with the other private universities in the area. So with Pepperdine and USC, Chapman is a great school, so if you want to learn more about the school and more of the day in the life, I will go ahead and uh, comment more of those videos down below. But Chapman is very, very known for their film school, screenwriting, all the arts. You're very big into Netflix, or if you've seen Stranger Things, um, the Brothers is a very big famous alumni that has made it extremely successful to the program. So uh, Forrest Gump is a really big one as well. I think Forrest Gump, they actually like shot at the campus or something like that. And that was all part of Chapman's production crew. They, they kind of cut it all down. So I want to recognize first and foremost that college is a crazy massive scam, okay? So like for example, when I was applying to colleges, I applied to about 40 and a lot of my friends, they probably applied to about a fourth of that, 10 or 11. And I know people that have overachieved and got over 4.0s and got rejected from their state university. And then I know other people that have, that are on the other end of the spectrum and they are, you know, underachieving and having like 3.2s and 3.3s and getting accepted into these really big top tier colleges like University of Michigan. I had somebody get accepted to Duke, Purdue, the whole nine yards. So this is definitely within my wheelhouse, but please take all of this with a grain of salt. Okay, and now for my stats. So I graduated high school with a 3.96, and I took about, I think, eight or nine AP courses. And I actually don't remember what my SAT score is, because I think they changed the scoring now. At first, when the SATs came out, it was like 1600, and then they changed it for my year to 2400. And now I think a couple years ago, they went back to the 1600 model. So I actually don't really remember my SAT scores, but I do know that it was very average to what I took compared to the rest of the world. Mm, mm. Mm. And then also in terms of my courses, I really, really challenged myself. I took a lot of the honors courses. I maximized a lot of the AP classes that I took. You know, I had AP World History, AP Environmental Science, um, AP Human Geography, AP Chemistry, AP Bio, right? Colleges really wanna make sure that you are going to be challenged and make sure that you have that academic rigor on your transcript. And for the Dodge kids, mm. <laughs> and for the Dodge kids, I know that they do set a higher bar when it comes down to the admissions process and uh, being able to submit more of a creative supplement or like an audition process. I think that they might have actually changed the requirements on what that might look like for now, but, but you really want to be able to focus on your portfolio that you're going to be submitting to them because these are going to be admissions counselors, these are going to be faculty, these are going to be your future college professors that they're going to be screening with as well. And then when they select students for their film program, these are you know, faculty that have done the work in the industry, that have been through the casting calls and the admissions process and being able to, you know, work with big clients such as like working for Disney and Nickelodeon and um, all those big box companies. So yeah, everybody is looking at your work. So the number one thing I'd say is to just get your grades up as much as possible. Really take those AP classes and honors classes seriously. And my biggest advice is just stick to one thing and really just go to town with it. Whatever you think that'll make you stand out. If that's acting, great. Make that your like top niche and be able to just roll with it. I know that it was really hard for me as a 18 year old to not really know what I wanted to do or especially to major in college and I'm just here to tell you that it's going to be okay. It, your major might even change down the road. You might even want to switch into more of the medical sciences or more of the human art. But you really just have to stick to just one thing for now and just be able to roll with it until you're able to find that passion that really just makes you click at the end of the day. And then from here on out, it's just a little bit of talent and a little bit of lady luck. So for Chapman, I think that they call it a creative supplement and it's a video depending on the program that you're applying to. So I think for graphic design, they want to show some sort of like media, like rollback or role play or like some sort of like media upload. If it's like for like the acting program, like they want you to submit some sort of like monologue or some sort of like scene role play between two scene partners or something like that. 
But I will say that the alumni network is very, very strong at Chapman. And even though it's not as like branded like Trojans or USC, I will say that Chapman does take their alumni network pretty seriously as well. That I know that got into Chapman, like, you know, it, it was very, very flexible. Like I knew people that had a, you know, 3.5 or 3.6, something a little bit lower, but they had a little bit of a higher SAT score to be able to kind of balance that out. So it really is taken on a holistic point of view. And I think my friend, she had like a, at 3.6 or 3.7 and she had like a 27 or 28 ACT score or something like that. But anyways, so yeah, so that is my statistics. I hope this video was helpful for all those potential Panthers out there. If anybody has any questions about the admissions process or supplements or resume writing or anything like that, I will go ahead and leave my business email down below for those of you that have any more additional questions. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for liking my video. Make sure to comment down below what you guys like to see next and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.